For years, Taylor Swift has been breaking records in the music industry and winning awards for her singing and songwriting prowess. And although you might know the words to all of her hit songs, there are a few things you may not know about the country-turned-pop singer. Here are some interesting things you may not know about Swift. Swift has the opportunity to co-write songs with legends in the industry, like Max Martin, who helped write Bad Blood and Blank Space, but the lyrics for Speak Now are all her own. I wrote all the songs myself for this record, Swift shared in an online video chat with fans in 2010 as per CMT's report. She continued, it didn't really happen on purpose. It just sort of happened that way. I'd get my best ideas at 3 a.m. in Arkansas and didn't have a co-writer around and I'd just finish it. And that would happen again in New York, that would happen again in Boston, that would happen again in Nashville. In a 2014 interview with Esquire, the singer said she grew up on a Christmas tree farm from ages 5 to 10. It was such a weird place to grow up. But it has cemented in me this unnatural level of excitement about fall and then the holiday season, she told the publication. In 2019 she even released a Christmas song called Christmas Tree Farm and the video is comprised of clips from her childhood. In a 2015 cover story interview with GQ, Swift said that at 14 she wrote a novel titled A Girl Named Girl and her parents still have a copy of it. In 2009, Swift appeared on an episode of CSI, Crime Scene Investigation. Her character ended up getting murdered. In 2016, Swift returned to her hometown of Reading, Pennsylvania, for the wedding of her childhood friend Brittany Mock. Vogue reported that, during her Maid of Honor speech, Swift said, Real love doesn't mess with your head. Real love just is. Real love just endures. Real love maintains. Real love takes it page by page. In a 2016 interview with Vogue, Swift shared that her mom had aspirations for her to be a horseback rider. Because of that, Swift rode competitively until she was 12 years old and told her mom she didn't share her passion. When songwriting, Swift said she sometimes is inspired by writing lyrics that are burns. Sometimes the lines in a song are lines you wish you could text message somebody in real life, Swift said in a Rolling Stone interview in 2014. I would just be constantly writing all these zingers, like, burn. That would really get her. The singer-songwriter has shared that Friends is her favorite show that's currently not on the air. In 2015, she told GQ that after performing to crowds of tens of thousands and meeting fans, she likes to go home and has a mini-marathon. In the 2016 Vogue 73 Questions with Taylor Swift, Swift revealed that Blank Space took the least amount of time to write, cause, she'd, written a lot of the lines down already in the year preceding the session, but all too well took the longest to write. It's a really emotional song, I kept putting it down for months on end, Swift explained. In this interview with Vogue, she shared that the sixpence none the richer hit Kiss Me was the first song she learned on guitar. In the same interview with Vogue, when asked what she'd order at a drive-thru, Swift answered said she'd order a cheeseburger, fries, and a chocolate shake. Her oldest cats are named Olivia Benson, after the Law & Order, Special Victims Unit character and Meredith Grey, named after a character from Grey's Anatomy. In 2019, she adopted a new kitty and named him Benjamin Button. The songwriter has written songs like Better Man for Little Big Town and the iconic song from the Hannah Montana movie, You'll Always Find Your Way Back Home. She's even written under pseudonyms. In 2016 Swift's PR rep confirmed to People, Taylor Swift wrote This Is What You Came For under the pseudonym Nils Sjaberg. The single was for artist Calvin Harris. 